Lack of adequate information on how to write project proposals is likely to disadvantage some women and youths in accessing funds under the 2022 Constituency Development Fund CDF in Chipata Central Constituency. People who did not attach correct documents to their forms have been sent back in order for them to make corrections. The situation has forced these desperate people to pay some individuals to help them write the proposals. Martha Banda, a resident of Chimvano area of Masupe Ward, says her cooperative has faced this challenge because the number of members are illiterate. And what Development Committee Chairperson for Masupe Ward, David Kumalinga, is also concerned over the matter. Women, especially the women and the youth, uh, they were not able to. They were not able to, to write the proposal. So many times, the, the people that are able to write these proposals de de demand money. Many projects were not written. Women, some women failed to, to write projects. They want to write, but they, they can't write. Applicants in Sangawad are facing similar challenges. Venancio Jokan is in Sangawad WDC chairperson. The challenges have been there in how to write. Proposal. A lot of people have uh, actually failed uh, due to the fact that maybe their application were, applications were incomplete. Meanwhile, Eastern Province Civil Society for Poverty Reduction Provincial Coordinator Samson Bewe says information on the CDF guidelines should have been translated into local languages. It has been observed that these documents are actually in uh, uh, the Queen's language, which at some point the majority of the, of the people in the rural part of of Eastern and part of the district do not really understand and have found it difficult in, in order for them to, to fill in the form. And the local authority says it is currently attending to these challenges. Christopher Luquesa is Chipata Acting Town Clerk. Yeah, the concern that has been raised is that uh, communities are having difficulties to fill in forms. It is indeed true, but as I speak now, we've managed to sensitize all the corners of the the city in terms of CDF utilization and how to fill in forms. But again, uh, we've been receiving these forms, of course, with the gaps. But as Secretariat, we are screening them and where we identify that there is uh, you know, those gaps, we are guiding those communities. We are sending them back or calling back and they fill up those gaps. Government has identified CDF as a major tool to take resources closer to the people. Chikonti Pri for Speak Up Youth and Breeze FM, Chipata.